glad you mentioned that regarding uh, somebody, you know, staying great for an extended period of time because then we could transition from NBA to UFC, John Jones, where um, he's the Go. current heavyweight champion. And I agree. I think he's the greatest fighter of all time. Go. However, no he's argument. fought one time since the pandemic. Yeah. He beat Cyril Gaon in la last year. And since then, it's well, injury. I think, I think with John Jones... It's one of those things where, like, he he kind of like like in order to sustain like to be great that long, you gotta be dedicated. You can't half-ass the camp because then you lose. Mm -hmm. So with John Jones, I think he's like, I don't feel like fighting. I'm gonna chill. But when he gets in the mood, he's like, oh, I want to hurt somebody. He'll lock in. He'll go into demon mode. Because in order to fight, you have to like lock in. So I still think he's the goat. I mean, there's no one that's gonna surpass his resume. There's no one that's fucking undefeated like him in the UFC ever. Khabib, but he fought trash cans. That's some news too. Did you hear he got he got his bank accounts frozen in Russia? The fuck? What? He owns three million dollars in taxes. Oh, good. There's Lord. a shitstorm going on right now. And then also a dude that trains at his gym was uh the leader of a terrorist attack. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh. I heard about that. Yeah, I heard about Bruh. that. Jeez, I didn't know that Khabib had his, his damn accounts frozen. Yeah, For, and his, back taxes is a motherfucker. Yeah, Conor, Conor McGregor, like this. Hey, you talk about the prophecy, God no, damn. The Mystic Mac, you know, because literally he's talking about. It, he's like, he's like, yo, you're taking money from this. Like it was like a Russian criminal, right? So he's like, yo, you're taking money from this guy, and then loan the guy, sharking. Yeah, so literally the guy got arrested, and now Khabib he got shit frozen, and then there's someone in the gym that was involved in a terrorist attack. Yeah, bro, and then Dude, that's fucking crazy. Because you thought Conor was being racist when he's like, you're a terrorist rat. You mm -hmm. terrorist rat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I guess was, not. And then, sure enough, the fucking... Yeah, bro, I don't know. Dude, what the fuck do you do when you have that much money frozen? You know, uh, well, tax luckily, evasion. They got to have cash, but good tax God. Tax evasion. He was evading taxes. That's bro Oh, was it tax evasion or tax avoidance? I don't know. Because it all depends at, you know, what... Well, I mean, at that level, you, you kind of want to deal with tax avoidance. But I mean, it's UFC, fucking they're Russia. fucking like... Yeah, it's fucking go. Russia. So I don't I don't know if you could even try to play those Conor games. Conor Khabib too at the Sphere. God damn, maybe. Bruh. Well, if he needs the money, because let's just say if he don't have no cash on hand. You, you take that fight. Conor versus Khabib at the Sphere, bro, they're making fucking oh, money. They're making yeah. like $10, 20000000 million yeah, off that question. fight. They, he's, he's clearing all his debt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, but it would go against his agreement with his father because I think yeah. the, the, the whole thing was to go, what, 30-0? and 0? Yeah. And he retired 29-0. and 0, So yeah. I guess that could and be man, the, the last fight. fight. But then if he comes back and loses, then what? Shit, because I think his legacy's already been written. But if 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 Khabib comes back and then loses, if he wins, there's, he's gonna be in that goat conversation. Yeah, of thirty and zero. Yeah, if he loses, they're gonna be like, oh, fraud check. They're gonna be like, fraud check them. So mm. yeah. Champions, yeah. Ah. Yeah, because Khabib didn't fight anyone good. He fought like Dustin Poirier, uh, Connor, and Gaethje. That's yeah. like his top three. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. It's top three. I mean, I still, I still think like in in the realm of mixed martial arts, he's definitely up there for sure. But definitely oh, yeah, no. not fucking with John Jones' resume. No, yeah. Um, but my my only argument for John Jones is like usually. I don't want to say it's like what have you done for me lately kind of situation because in in the fight game it's a little bit different because if you were knocking people out left and right like Tyson when he went to prison and then came out was three years later ain't nobody was sitting over here like no you know Tyson's not the best no it doesn't matter he's took that one L he came out he's still the guy but for John Jones you being the heavyweight champion you finally go and you got that then you, now you're you were out since yeah but for him you to won go up the to title and now another year the way he I, got rid of the guy the, the heavyweight interim heavyweight champion he got rid of dude yeah in like he a took out yeah he got he got rid of gone incredibly fast and i actually really like cyril gone i, I yeah. thought he was probably um after and ganu i think he was probably the number two nah, he, heavyweight a, and i don't like he's like, kind of like pussy he doesn't fight at all he doesn't take this shit serious that's why i don't like about it like People that win are the ones that take it deadly serious. I think like a Khabib. I I think because for 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 Ngannou, it's almost similar to what happened with Connor. The mission was accomplished. Yeah. What you were trying to do, you did. So now it's like, what's the next motivation? But that next motivation isn't as strong right. as what the original one was. Yeah. So and with John Jones, with him, where ultimately it's like, all right, if I want to kick somebody's head, because he just I, wants to be a fucking he wants hell to be, raiser. Uh, yeah, he wants to be a, like he if you go back in time, he's a conqueror, bro. Right. He's just like he just kill everybody. There's like monologues of him. Like it's very homelander. I don't know if you know Homelander. Mm, yeah, yeah, the boys, yeah. yeah. 
He's very Homelander esque, where like he's in interviews, uh, Joe Rogan interviews, like I study everything about a fighter. I know, I know which side they like to punch. I know where they sleep. I know where they go. Like I know which side they like to do takedowns. I, I study everything, like mm -hmm. up and down. So it's like the dude literally is built for that. Right. He doesn't really right. care about money like that. I'm sure he gets paid a lot of money, but the dude, fucking, he just likes to fucking hurt people. Like even the moves he does, he kicks people's yeah, knees yeah. Out. It's it's fucking brutal, bro. The elbows it's... he throws, like he's he just wants to hurt people, right? Which what makes him so good at this, right? Like Khabib, I think he has like a a god, like for him it's like fight God Allah, yeah. And that's what makes him like so. That's what makes him so powerful. John Jones, he does it for the love of the game, yeah. You know, you'd argue he does it for Satan. I mean, that's a way the dude fight. <laughs> you you'd have thought he's like a, a freaking a Satanist or something. That dude is one. I don't want to say dirty in the sense of like doing you know dastardly things to go yeah. and win, but he does what is necessary to win. And if you die. You nah. die. Yeah. And he seems like somebody who's happy about it yeah. versus somebody like Khabib. It's like, all right, I'll pray for you. Yeah. John Jones, like, oh, you dead, I'll dance on your grave Literally. kind of situation. So he, he just seems to be a very scary human being. But There's with him being out, one fight since the pandemic, him being the champion, do you think they take the title off? No. Nah. Do you think they strip him of the nah, title? Nah, what, nah. Would it be even considered stripping some somebody of the title if they just. Yeah, because it's. Nah. He has to relinquish it. will be almost it. two years since so he comes there's back. There's an interim champion that's like that's like who who holds the belt. Right, you're like a you're Tom, a title holder. Tom right. Aspinall is the interim champion who holds the belt while John Jones is away, but John Jones is the champion. I think John Jones got one or two like more in him than he's done. Because he was supposed to fight on um, Miocic, right? Yeah, uh, Stipe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Stipe was supposed to come back. Um, and then fight him because I don't think Stipe fought since he lost. He's 41 um, too. Yeah, yeah, he's old. Now, he's old. But yeah. I think with John Jones, because he had less fights since because it's been five years. He's had two fights, maybe three on, yeah. on paper since. So it's it's just a situation where it's like you're the most vaunted fighter right now because I think anybody mentions John Jones fight is coming up. He's still box office. Yeah. Right. He's still box office. But him not being available, I think that's going to start to hurt.